All right. Are we ready to do a little bit of painting? So I used the Iandan yellow to do this yellow band. You say, oh, it looks too orange. It looks really orange. It looks orange at the moment. But once upon a time way back when I was in like, I think I was like in seventh grade, my first art class. The one thing I remember about that class is when the old crusty art teacher, he said, he put this thing up on the overhead projector and it was like a genie lamp and it was like gold. And he said, if you want to make gold, you don't use gold paint. And then he showed how it was a combination of various different colors to make it look gold. So here is our guy again. If we want to make this, what is that called? Armor yellow? Okay, if we want to make that, we are going to start with this. And there's a reason we're starting with this. And I've got some other examples, and you've seen them. I'm not going to show them to you. You're going to have to, you're going to, have to remember, who did we do like this? I'll give you a hint. His name was... Mr. Helper! Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, crap. I left the secret out of the back. Anyways. So, now I painted on a little bit of gray. See, super light colored. Okay, it was this folk art gray. This is not bad paint. It's pretty decent. And that's, that's what we're using. Now we're going to use this one here. This one says folk art enamel, but it's not enamel it's gloss acrylic and we're gonna mix it with this matte gray and and that's okay because we have to we have to coat this thing later with uh, with a gloss in order to do decals so I got my wet palette here let's back up okay so I got the wet palette here and I've got the gray and I want to bring over put a little dish dish of water on my brush remember I've got three cups here DS is dish soap, DW is distilled water, 91% alcohol. All right, so I'm going to bring over some gray. Well, no, I'm going to bring over a tiny bit of the black. That's kind of a lot. And then I'm going to mix it with this gray. I'm going to mix that gray. I'm going to mix a little bit of black in, that, in there, and we'll pull it over here. And we should start to get a darker gray. As you can see, we're already getting a darker gray. Now, look at these. Look at these guys again. You see how they got kind of a bleach look to them? We'll get that. We'll get that bleach look later. But right now, we want to get just a tiny bit darker gray, which we're already getting. And we want it on our brush here. We want to mop that in there. And there, there. That's starting to look pretty good. That's starting to look like a good UP gray. And, and like I said, if you want to get this gray, it's going to be more than one color. It's not going to be just plain gray. We're not making a factory new model. And I'm a big believer in, we don't take the model, make it factory new, and then weather it. However it's going to look in the end, we want to start that, we want to build that into this particular build okay so let's see what we got on the brush here right now it's super thick let's see if we can get it on there oh yeah oh i like it yeah oh well that's good good that's good stuff right there isn't it that's like really good stuff i'm gonna mop that on there oh my goodness oh lord look how thick it is there's like paint everywhere and it's super ultra thick and it and it's like dang it looks like some kid finger painted this thing in in uh, kindergarten because that's basically the way it looks isn't it it is i know it is so you know what we do then we pull out the sponge yep pull out the sponge okay now we're gonna take our makeup sponge here and we're going to go ahead and uh and we're gonna sponge this guy we're gonna sponge him all of his details and everything this is just one coat here too and we're gonna sponge him and sponge them, and sponge them, and we're gonna sponge them. And then, when we got them sponged, oh my goodness. 
all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I'm starting to look a lot like this. Look at that. Uh, Dang, it looks like an airbrush, doesn't it? It sure does. In fact, it looks even better than an airbrush. It looks a lot better than an airbrush. Why? Because a makeup sponge is a good piece of equipment. That's why makeup artists used it. No, that's why they do use it. Uh-oh, I got a swipe on the side there. That's okay. We'll get to them. We'll get them worked out. But, oh, yeah, there we go. Holy cow, is that top going to look nice. Nice, nicely. And we're not even going to detail it yet. Um, but what we got now is our super nice, nice gray. What do you think? That and that. Not quite. I mean, that screen's a little dark and whatnot, but... Uh, we're very, very close. We're close enough that the detailing part of this is going to take care of that. And keep sponging and get them details. And sponge for a little bit here. So here it is. Hey, hey, not everybody can have the cool airbrush set up. You know, I built a paint booth over there that we use all the time. And I got pipe. I got... Uh, a big air compressor for, for airbrushing and whatnot. But doing this for a single model like this, where we got to do multiple paints, multiple setups, it's way better to put them on the wet palette. And we'll, we can fix that right there. In fact, I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. Let's take a little guy, let's get some dish soap on him, mm -hmm. and let's uh, go ahead and fix him out. Get rid of them. See that? There. Let's take this back of the sponge here and uh, wipe them up. Oh my goodness! He got fixed. There's a little bit right there. Let's go ahead and uh, fix him. And he's fixed, just like that. And we're sponging. And we're still sponging. There we go. Okay, so that's that's gonna be a nice. That's gonna now remember this gray is a starting point because we gotta go like that, and that's gonna be a beauty. I think this thing's gonna be pretty sweet. However, I'm gonna show you one other thing. Now, nope, that's not it. Okay, these air tanks over here. These things are much bigger. Okay, they're not as fat as those, but they're bigger and they're longer, so we're going to have to figure out a way to make them. We'll figure that out. We'll make something. We're going to do the beer kegs again, because they are pretty cool. All right, so that's where we're at for now.